Music from outer space. Synth DIY. Alright, now we don't just jump right into the 5 sixteenths holes. We want to make some guide holes with a small, smaller drill. And, you see this drill is going to follow those holes we punched a lot easier. And see, even with the hole, sometimes it's a little difficult. Okay, I had to stop and go get my goggles. Never forget, when you're working with any power equipment, put on a pair of goggles. There we go, we're drilling the pilot holes. Okay, now, for the pilot holes, we're not going to use any cutting oil. Um, we're going to save that for when we're doing our 5 16 inch holes. So again, I, I won't bore you with uh, watching me drill a bunch of holes. I'll go ahead and drill all the pilot holes and then I'll come back. Alright, we have all the pilot holes drilled. I put a couple of mounting holes on the side as well. Now we're going to go on to the 5 16 holes. So I've got to chuck up that uh, bit and uh, I'll be back. Alright, we're back. We're going to go ahead and drill our 5 16 holes now. Now, as I said before, um, I didn't use any cutting oil for those guide holes, but for these holes I am. One of the nice things about this material is it's a little harder and so it machines nicely. And uh, the cutting oil really helps. What I do is I'm going to soak the bit with the cutting oil and I'm just going to go ahead and drill that out and voila, like butter. It really goes through nice and notice it doesn't even uh, make a big burr on the other side or anything. So that's what we're going to do. Continue this. And about every about every three or four holes you want to put a little more oil on the bit. But as you can see that cuts quite nicely. This metal machines really well. Alright, well, when I have all the holes drilled, I'll come back. Alright, so we've got all our holes drilled. Now we want to go ahead and just clean it up. And as I said, uh, very little burring with this nice material. And uh, before we adhere the template to the front, we're going to clean this really nicely with alcohol so that the glue adheres to it well. All right, well, I'll see you when we're putting the template on. So now we're going to clean the plate with some isopropyl alcohol. Uh, the less you get on your hands, the better. It tends to dry your skin out. So I just wanted to give that a good wipe. And now we'll go ahead and dry that off. And again, that's with isopropyl alcohol. This is also very good for cleaning circuit boards, by the way. Alrighty. We've dried all of the isopropyl alcohol off of it. Gotten all the dirt and oil off of it from uh, the uh, cutting oil and so forth. Now we're ready to go ahead and in here the uh, front panel template. So I'll be back when we are ready to do that. Alright, the next thing you want to do is you want to line up the holes with the metal and you want to get an idea of where this uh, has to go now on this piece of metal in order for the holes to be lined up nicely and so I hold it up to a light and so I'm seeing this edge is uh, fairly even with it the top is even there's maybe a you know a 30 second hanging over this edge and that's how I'm going to adhere this to this plate okay we're getting close to uh, completion here the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put the uh, glue, and this is contact cement. I use this weldwood contact cement. And you don't have to put it all over the place, but we want to put it in enough areas that we're going to have uh, good adherence. And, uh, you know, it's not going to be peeling off and so forth. This stuff works pretty good. Works really good, actually. All right, I guess I will put it all over the place. What the heck? I'm going wild. All right. Okay. I'm going to keep this closed tight because that stuff is so volatile, it'll dry, on, uh, dry out on you in no time. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and take my chances on this. I'm going to hold it up to the light again and just make sure that uh, 
I have it right because you can still slide this around on the metal for a while uh, prior to it becoming dry. So I'm going to hold it up to the light, make sure my holes are lined up. All right, that came out really well, actually. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to burnish this a little bit, and I'm just going to use a paper towel. What this does is it uh, spreads the glue around and, uh, you know, gets down in there and gives you a good seal between the, uh, the metal and the uh, template. Okay, and that's the nice thing too about the uh, laminated uh, front is that it's nice and smooth when you're burnishing it. All right, so now uh, I'm going to let this dry for a while, uh, and then I'm just going to take an X-Acto knife and cut these holes out. All right, once that's dry, you can look at the edges. In this case, we have a little overlap here. We're just going to press down nice and hard while we take our X-Acto knife. And uh, you want a really nice, sharp X-Acto knife to do this with. And... There we go. Okay, so now no more little edge on that side. Uh, the rest is fine. I'm going to leave it alone. But now it's time to cut out the holes. So what you want to do is just push your X-Acto knife through here in kind of like around the center of the hole. Okay, see, so make sure you can see this. And and then you want to follow the edge. Don't kill yourself with the X-Acto knife. Follow the edge uh, and kind of poke in there and, you know, just kind of try to just push forward. You don't want to pull the material off of the metal. So just push down through the hole while you slice around like you see. Okay, that's not too hard to do. And there's one hole. All right, so that's essentially what we're going to do with all of these holes. So I'll be back when the holes are done. Okay, I'm going to show you again just a technique of uh, cutting the hole out again. And just trying to focus on it. Again, you want to push in. And as you're, you're going along, you want to twist the knife so it follows the edge of the hole. Okay. And uh, just follow that edge. Again, nice and easy. Okay, until you get back all the way to where you started. Okay, maybe. All right, and there we go. That guy ought to come out of there. All right, and there we go. So now I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of the holes, and I'll be back. All right, we have all the holes cut out, and uh, now it's ready for us to put our components and our circuit board on there. And I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then I'll come back and show you the finished product. Well, there we go. That's the finished product. And uh, very nice and readable. It's durable. And uh, I find it's a very simple and good way to make panels. See all the parts here on the back? Everything fits nice. Uh, I have this bracket to mount the circuit board on. And I like to use these because uh, the pot is actually holding the bracket down. And then you don't have to have screws coming through the front of the panel. So that is that. I hope that uh, this was helpful to you, and uh, I find this very useful, and I'd like to thank you for watching. Again, Ray Wilson of Music from Outer Space and How to Make Synth DIY Panels. Music from Outer Space.